Amulet? I mean, why? But pedal por qué? Try us! Hey guys, what is up? Awesome Saucer, hope you guys are having an incredible, incredible day. Welcome to the first of hopefully many, many Test Realm videos. And today, we are going to talk about all of the new gear available to you in Imperia Part 2. And let me just tell you, I'm not trying to spoil too much, you know. But let's just say, you know, King's Isle has done something with this update and the gear in this update that I, in all of my 10 years of playing, have never seen them do before, so uh, y'all better buckle your seatbelts, alright? Let's buckle the hell up, and let's get right into it, my man. Oh my, unprecedented choice. So there's basically three classes of new gear. I'm gonna make a separate video on how the spells and the new gear are gonna affect the PvP meta and level 130 PvP, or at least what I think they'll do. But for this video, we're gonna talk about arena gear, crafted gear, and dropped gear. Now... The arena gear and the crafted gear are already in test realm. The dropped gear is is basically taken from various sources and from leaks that are found in the files. So technically, all of these are subject to change. But there's something that's happening that King's Isle... No one's talked about this. King's Isle's never done this before either. And it's really, really interesting. So let's start with the crafted gear, my man. So if you guys don't know how to get to the crafted gear, basically you go to the Nimbus Citadel. It's probably like the second or third area in all of Imperia Part 2, you go to the map and it'll basically show you that there are recipes here. Now, what's really, really interesting is that for Test Realm, they do have this guy who sells pure ether. It's supposed to be a really rare reagent and it's involved in a lot of the crafting. So it's a new reagent that's really hard. I bet it's just as hard to get as Amber. So it's going to make a crafting very, very hard in a lot of these ways. But I feel like y'all will appreciate it. Now, let's start with what I don't like in the craftable options i think as far as wand crafting goes these just are not that good they just don't compare to the regular wands that you can already craft uh from the arcanum so i don't think the arcanum uh joints are really that good in my opinion uh as you guys can see the only real difference here is that you get a little bit more crit you get some damage but you lose so much pierce that I don't think that this is actually better than the wands from the Arcanum. Now, that being said, I have the level 115 wand. The level 125 wand gives two square slots, more damage, more pierce, more crit, everything. So, in all honesty, I think the wands fall really short. Highly do not recommend crafting the wands. And honestly, the same can be said about the Athames. The really cool thing that I think the Athames are really good about, in terms of, you know, at least as a craftable option, they give a ton of health. Uh, for example, even a, even a Storm Wizard, as you guys can see, gets 700 health. That's, that's a game changer. It really is. My only issue with it is that it doesn't give any pip chance. If they added pip chance to this, I could see why people would actually want it. Even if you lost damage, the health actually makes it. And the incoming is really cool too. I don't know why they did it like this. In my opinion, they're making a huge mistake. If you're going to make a craftable option, make it usable. Not having any pip chance is an absolute L, and I don't appreciate it. That being said, if you can make up the pip chance somewhere else, maybe you can use this. I don't think it's that possible, in my opinion. But you know what, man? Maybe someone will find a way to use this. And, I mean, like, if you look at ice, 900 health on an thing. that's a lot. That is quite a bit. I think these things make it possible now to actually get 10,000 health with the decent stats. Pretty bad pip chance, but decent stats. And that's something that, you know, that is something. I also don't recommend crafting these as they are. Especially because, like, as you guys can see, you need you need so many ether ores. You need a lot of dust. You also need one of the new reagents. Uh, it's hard to craft. Do I recommend this? No. Let's move on to the amulates. Now, the amulates are really awesome because they're mastery amulets, which we've never been able to craft before. That's really cool. These are also droppable throughout... Uh, throughout Imperia Part 2. What do I like about them? They give health. They give a ton of resist to the school. So, like, for example, I could totally see if you're a nice wizard and, you and you know, you want, you want, you know, life master, you also get 8 resist. That's pretty cool. Um, if you want to set for people, I guess, you know, that's pretty cool. I don't see why the fire one only has 5% resist, whereas the other ones have, like, 8% or 7%. 
I really don't get it, you know? Even the Storm one has more percent resist than the Fire one. I don't know why they love Fire so much with these. I, I don't get it. But that being said, I don't know who would want to use a Fire Mastery anyways. So, I mean, hey, if you really want a Mastery Amulet and you haven't farmed and you don't want to spend crowns on it, this is the way to go, my man. It's going to be hard to craft it, obviously, but as far as I can tell, it's actually easier to craft than most of the stuff in the re in the recipe shops. That's really cool. The rings, my man. The rings, hear, hear me out right now, all right? There, as I said, there are three classes of dropped items, uh, three classes of new items, level 130 gear. There's arena, there's craftable, and then there's farmed, right? If you're going to farm for a ring... I think it would still be slightly worse than this. However, if you're only interested in PvP, I can tell you right now that because this doesn't have a tier slot and the tier and, and the jewel on the PvP ring does, this is inferior. And that's the end of the story. So if you really want the best stats and you want the best ring that gives a lot of crit, I mean there's other reasons why you shouldn't use it. For example, pip chance again. But Let's say you wanted the best crit ring for PvP, you would want the arena one. However, this is better slightly than a lot of things. Um, I mean, the storm one gives a lot of crit. It gives a little bit more crit than what's available right now. It gives a little bit more healing. It's not a massive upgrade from the mimic rings, but hey, if you really are particular about your stats, this is actually slightly worth crafting. Would I personally craft this? No. I wouldn't, but honestly, the, what, what, what this shop is really about are the hats and the boots, alright, so, so far, everything that I've said, I'm not gonna craft, hats and boots, now this is something I can get behind, the robes are also absolute trash, like they always have been, you can look at it right now, I don't know, I, I think, enough said, <laughs> enough said, alright, let's go into the boots, my bands, now the boots are really, really cool, I know a lot of people are going to look at the boots and they're going to be like, they're not that good, dude. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Sauce? Now, let's compare them to level 125 crafted options, right? Now, what I really like is this one gives 4 accuracy, 969 health, right? Now, if you look at these boots right over here, right? They give a little bit less health. Don't get me wrong. They give a little bit less health. But instead of some accuracy that you don't really need, they get pip chance, and that's really important. Pip chance is one of the most important stats at the level that we are at right now. To have pip chance over accuracy is a really, really big improvement. So what they basically did with these is they basically got the boots that we already have available to us, reduced the health a little bit, and instead of accuracy, added pip chance. Now, it's really just nice to have an alternative. For my fire, I prefer pip chance. If you prefer accuracy, then I think the level 120, uh, the, the, basically the ones that we had available, 125, are actually better. But, that being said, these are really, really good in the sense that they actually give a lot of health to some schools, and the pip chance makes it usable in a lot of scenarios where it wasn't before. The only reason I wasn't using the Cabal's boots is because of the pip chance. Yes, you do have to give up a little bit of, a little bit of um, resist, but if you look at some of them, like, look at this, dude. These boots are insanely overpowered for ice. They give 30% damage and 8 resist with almost a 1,000 health. They give more crit than anything ice has ever had. This is the most OP pair of boots I've ever seen for ice, period. No questions asked. It's even better than the crowns gear that I've seen. These are good. No cap. They're good, my mans. I highly recommend crafting them if you're into this kind of stuff even for storm it makes sense to craft it they're, they're, like i don't see why you wouldn't but with that being said the final part of the update are the hats again uh i think a lot of people when they look at them they're like why would you ever rock this and honestly i i, I see why you, like if you compare it like if you compare the fire hat right to my hat that i have right now you'll see it gives more health and more pip chance it gives accuracy where there wasn't accuracy before, and you get a lot, lot more damage. That being said, you do not get the pierce, you, and you do not get the resist. Now, why are these hats really, really awesome in my opinion? Again, let's look at the past craftable options. Now, these are just like the Kabbalist boots, uh, Kabbalist hat, right? I mean, they're very similar in, in, in their stats. They give health, they give accuracy, they give pierce. Now, they got rid of the pierce, 
right? They got rid of the peers, and instead of the peers, the alternative that they have is they gave the pip chance and the accuracy in the hat. We've never had that before. So that's really, really awesome. That's really, really great. I honestly think the pierce isn't even really important if you're giving six, if you're giving 16 more damage in this case. You're giving even more damage, I think, depending on what school you are. For example, Ice is given a ton of damage. They get they get that pip chance, they get that, you know, they get everything they really need. This is really awesome. They get they get a lot of help. So getting rid of pierce in order to give something else, I really like that. These craftable options, what I like about them, is that they're substituting stats and giving variety. So nothing, like level 125, level 130, you can actually choose which one you want. I personally like these better, because I like pip chance and accuracy more than I like pierce when I get that much more damage. But that's just where I'm coming from. Now, here, let's get to the part that's interesting, alright? This is something, in my 10 years, King's Isle has never done. They have never done this, ever. If you're talking about craftable gear, and you're wondering, well, this looks really hard to craft, then maybe you would want to look at the farmable option. And here's something really, really interesting. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, so here are the craftable boots. Now get ready for this. By yum! As you guys can see, the boots are the exact same. These are from leaked files. The farmable boots are having, they have the exact same stats. They made them so that they are literally having the exact same stats no matter what you use. Same with the robe. Bye, y'all! Same stats right here. Why would anyone use this? I don't know. Same stats, though. And obviously, bye, y'all! As you guys can see, instead of having slight differences like they had with the Cabalist boots and the Cabalist uh, and the Craftable 125 and the Cabalist hat and the Craftable 125, these are all the same. That's really interesting. They've never done that before. They've always had slight variations. Literally, the only difference between these are the names. And the fact that they're, one, some of them are no sell, while this one might be no sell. Even though it says no auction, the other one said no sell, and I don't know. I think they're the exact same. But yeah, my mans. So, it's really, really awesome. This is something that King's Isle's never done. I think it's a good direction. If you like crafting, craft it. If you like farming, farm for it. I assume both of them will have very, very low drop rates. I'm going to be very disappointed if the droppable versions don't have low drop rates. Because they're actually good. They're actually worth it. I could see myself using this hat. I could 100% see myself using these boots. This is a really, really good change. I think it's really, really great. In my opinion, I wish that they'd given pip chance and accuracy on the boots as well. But that being said, they have resist and the hats, you know, the hats don't have resist. I think what I like is that it leaves room for more OP gear in the future. And that's really good longevity wise. However, in my opinion, still lacking in a lot of ways. Uh, the robes are awful. I hope they go in a different direction. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if the robes weren't absolute trash, I would say, you know, this is good. It's more variety. Give it like an 8 out of 10. Uh, for some people, it doesn't really matter at all. If you're a hitter, it just should matter. You should want a hat that gives that much damage. That's all I'm saying. It gives great stats. I highly, highly recommend. Especially if the reason you didn't craft the previous ones is because of pip chance or accuracy, which is a very, very important consideration that a lot of people take. Now, the very last bit of this update takes part in the arena, and there's only one thing that's worth mentioning, and that's, it's, it's disappointing that there's only one thing, but let's get into it, my bands. So, the hat, trash. The robe, trash. The, the, the boots, trash. I don't know why anyone would ever rock any of these. I mean, yeah, they give cool stats, a little bit of variety, none of them give resist. Why would you use this? I don't know, don't use this, don't be bad at this game. The wand, honestly not goddamn terrible, I'm actually surprised at how good these are compared to what I thought they were gonna be, but let's just be honest, try uh, 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 the, the fatal razor, I mean, if you look at the craftable versions, right, you're giving up like, what, 400 health for like 3 damage? I mean, trash! Amulet? I mean, why? But pedal porque? Trash! Deck. Kind of booty cheeks, but honestly, it gives Pip Convert. I mean, you know, not trash. You know, I mean, you know we, we needed this, so, you know, not too bad. And the only thing that's kind of worth it are the, the joints, the ring. And the only real difference between the craftable ring and this ring, I mean, basically is that it gives a little bit more damage than some of the rings, and the tier jewel gives you a lot more health. The other craftable rings don't have a tier jewel, so if you're into PvP, 
this is the ring to go if you really want to boost up your crit. That being said, it's not that necessary. I think the Daredevil ring uh, or the Alpha and Omega ring are valuable alternatives if that's how you roll. But yeah, my mans, that's, pre that's pretty much it. What's really nice about this update in terms of gear is that you have a lot of choices in terms of getting it. Seems like the only really good gear is either farmable or craftable. Crafting seems to be very difficult. I hope farming it will be very difficult. And therefore, it'll be very, very hard to get with the gear and it'll give people something to do. I think that's a really great idea. Um, if the logic holds, uh, mastery amulets don't need to be craftable. They're, they're gonna be dropped. Everything that you see that can be craftable will be able to be dropped with the exact same stats. And that's something King's Isle has never done. And that's very, very interesting that they do this with this update. I'm honestly pretty happy with it. It was really different uh, in level 125 because the Kabbalist boots and the craftable boots were very different. That health differences, um, you know, like one of them was clearly better than the other. So this one, it's different. Whatever, whatever path you prefer, you can take it. And that's really great. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what kind of strategies you're going to be doing or that you want to see me do on the channel with all the new gear. I might try to do like 170 damage or a ton of health on an ice wizard. I really don't know. It's going to be really interesting to see what's possible with all the new possibilities. You know, I'm possible with all the new possibilities. It's time for me to stop. I'm saying nonsense. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a sub if you're new. Somebody hasn't told you you're awesome today. They're doing something wrong. Let me know how you guys plan on using the gear, whether it's for farming, for PvP, for anything, really. And I would love to see a discussion in the comments. What is your opinion? Should they do different? I mean, King's House is still open to feedback right now. So make sure to let them know. My opinion, the robes need a lot of work. I mean, like, a real real quick note you know before i end the video these don't have peers why not give something like this that gives more health and more peers i don't see why that's so hard to do but anyways you know that's my suggestion i think the robes are trash and i think i think the hat and boots still need more resist but yeah guys that is my opinion you know that you know that's really all there is to it drop a like if you enjoyed drop a sub if you're new and let me know what you guys think in the comments below stay awesome my man if somebody hasn't told you're awesome they do something wrong and yeah you